Hello! Welcome back to It's What I Do. Got a little bit of an unboxing to do today. Um, we've got a Guard Pro E5 trail camera. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so this is the box. And we've got the uh, camera box there. It's a fairly standard box. And what have we got? Well, we've got the camera itself. We've got a mounting strap. And a USB cable. Looks like pretty much it. Don't think there's anything under there. But we'll have a look, just in case. No, nothing under there. So we'll open the bag. And there we've got the camera itself. Got an instruction manual. We'll have a read of that in a minute. And we've got the camera. Got a couple of lens protectors on the uh, sensors and the camera. Open it up, and we've got the normal controls inside there, and the battery compartment there. Takes two, four, six, eight AA batteries. To operate it, which I'll have to go and get. Got a standard SD card slot there. Now we've got a 12 volt DC input there. It's quite interesting, might be able to power it from a power adapter. So, I'll go and get some batteries and we'll have a look at setting it up. Okay, so we've got our eight batteries. So we'll have a quick read of the instruction book. And then we'll get those installed. I've also got my little SD card. Um, this is SanDisk one. And it's a, a U3A2 class, is it? Can't read that. My eyes are not that good. <laughs> but it's a good quality card, anyhow. So I'll have a quick read of the uh, instruction manual. And I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've had a quick read of the instruction manual and the first thing we need to do is actually get the SD card and the batteries installed. So, we'll open that. The SD card goes in that way round. So we'll put that in. And the batteries, which open the compartment and the batteries go in as per the diagram in the uh, bottom. Two in that way. Two in that 
two in that way. Two in that way. And then the final two go the other way. So that's the batteries in. Now we've got a switch here. We switched it on. And then we get the uh, the camera display there. So first off, we want to format the card. Format SD card. Yes. So that's formatted. And we'll go to the top of the menu. that so that should be ready to go so we'll just turn it off for a second close that back up and then we need to thread the the strap through the back of the camera so. and make sure I've got the buckle on the outside needs to thread through that way I don't want too much of the buckle this side I want, want to have the strap there because where I'm going to mount this isn't isn't tremendously thick so we'll take off the films Once the film's off, So we've got it mounted there. So open the side, switch it on, and press start. That should now be operational. We'll have a little bit of a wait and then we'll uh, we'll see what it records. So back in a minute.
Right, the first thing I've noticed about these images and the video footage is the contrast is very high. So you've got quite a lot of difference between the light and shade areas. That could be a lot better. The image quality itself is quite good, but the contrast, as I say, is quite high. The other thing I've noticed is that the field of view is not very wide. That bucket that you can see on the bottom right is about two and a half foot away from the camera. Well, that's going to uh, bring us to about the end of the video. Um, conclusions. Uh, I'm quite impressed, to be honest. Um, the trial cam was only £60, so it wasn't a particularly expensive one, and the results are quite good. I'm going to have a little bit more of a play, and I'll try it in some different positions, and I'll see what footage I manage to get. And if I get some interesting stuff, I'll post an update for you. Right, that'll be about it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like. It does help. Okay, catch you later. Bye for now.